come to you today as a Muslim talking about September 11th, you might say, oh, these are the guys that have done it. Today I will show you beyond a shadow of a doubt that it could not have been the Muslims. First and foremost, nobody with any religious sense or any moral sense, even a modicum of morality in them would ever feel happy at the deaths of nearly 3,000 people who died on, on the day, September 11th. Uh, in the morning, especially when the planes hit the two towers. Nobody, nobody. I cannot think of one person who is saying that would feel happy or gloat over that. That's absolute nonsense. Secondly, the U.S. government went and invaded two countries that had nothing to do with them. Their own government saying, for example, saying that 19 hijackers came from Saudi Arabia. But they went and invaded Iraq and went and invaded Afghanistan. Till this day, over $6 trillion have been spent and they killed ov over a million people and maimed and injured millions others. Plus, millions others have, been, have had their lives disturbed totally. Put on terror list, watch list, no-fly list, you name it. Discrimination beyond Islamophobia, just cottage industry just coming up all of a sudden. So, what was the reason? 3,000 people at that time died, unfortunate. But now with coronavirus, it's way it's into the tens of thousands. And not even so, it wasn't the love for the people. It was a pretext in order to go and grab more oil, in order to have more strategic interests, all geopolitical uh, avarice and greed. So today I will explain to you very, very quickly as to that is implausible for 19 hijackers, supposedly, that's what they're saying, that came from Saudi Arabia. Actually, nine, nine of them are saying that they're alive. So what happened there? I mean, you have to ask these questions. You have to ask these questions. So today I'm going to put forth some things. You go and do your own research, and then we are more informed. Isn't that not how a democracy actually becomes stronger? By being informed rather than being not informed? So we have two buildings here. Very for, for lay people. We have two buildings. Here is uh, the airplane coming in in the morning. Zzz, and it hits the Twin Towers around 111th floor. And it goes through. And when it goes through, it's bellowing black smoke. That is a sign where the fire is being starved. So their theory is that the fire collapsed the building. But the fire is being starved. Second, jet fuel, jet fuel does not burn high enough in order to melt steel. The twin towers were made out of steel. And they were made out to even take the hit of a 747 take hurricanes, all kinds of things. So it was built in. So all of a sudden this plane hits, you see black smoke bellowing out, so it's not even burning at the highest. And all of a sudden, everyone's saying, oh, the fire melted the steel and it went down. It could not have happened. Plus, the other plane came and hit here. So within one hour, the building collapsed like this into its footprint. Didn't even go anywhere. All the smoke was there. It just went into its, in, into its footprint, right? If the buildings were broken, usually the buildings will fall like that, will fall forward. But it didn't. It actually went into the footprint. Secondly, is that they're saying that, oh, it had a free, it had a pancake effect. That's what they call it. Sorry for the... For the, for the imitation, but it's really irritating these pundits, uh, bobbling heads on TV. Pancake effect. Pancake effect, they're saying that one floor falls and then it has more weight and then another floor falls so it falls down. In fact, if you have a pancake effect, you have one floor falling, then it has resistance. Then another floor falling, then it has resistance. Then another floor falling, then it has resistance. You tell me that it fell in free fall speed right in its footprint rather than falling forward. 
You have all of these other buildings all over the world that have caught fire from top to bottom, not just in the middle somewhere, from top to bottom and burned for more than 24 hours. I, I believe it was in Madrid somewhere. And it never actually collapsed. This is a demolition that actually took place. And the odd thing is, the odd thing is that you have to go and research for yourself. In fact, I tell you to go and watch Loose Change, second edition. You will find it on YouTube. That's Loose Change, second edition. Ripple Effect. Ripple Effect. I, I, I believe you can find that. It's a documentary if you want to see it and you don't want to read. Uh, you can find In Plain Sight is another documentary. And there's a plethora of documentaries that have questioned these assertions as to how can a plane just do this or go into the Pentagon and have no footage with the most guarded building on, on the face of this planet with a small cone-shaped soft nose of a plane damaging the Pentagon's steel and titanium columns. That's not, yeah, and no pictures of the plane coming in. That just does not make sense. So see that. And if you want to read uh, Webster Tarpley's book, Synthetic Terror, I mean, I don't agree with every single thing he's saying, but he's making a lot of points, and so are so many others. Why are hundreds and hundreds of scientists and engineers in North America have signed on to say that this could not have been the work of Mr. Mohammed Atta or somebody else who could not even fly a, a single uh, engine a Cessna plane. It could not have been the work of these people. And you have to also question yourself that to say that, did I just believe that, that all of the buildings around, you know, if I can build this back again, say this is a twin tower, it's collapsed already. All of the buildings around the Twin Towers were damaged with, with wreckage and all these things. They never fell apart. Few blocks away is building number seven that housed the CIA, that housed the banks and all of the things and had oxygen. You, you name it, it had a trove of information, 47 floors. Nothing, nothing hit it. Guess what happened to it? It went right in its footprint down after five o'clock. There's even a newscaster talking saying, yeah, we have had such a great tragedy and uh, the falling of building seven and building seven is still standing behind her. She's saying that the building seven, World Trade Center building number seven, has fallen, but it's still behind her. So there's, I mean, then you say, oh, conspiracy theory. Oh, these are conspiracy theories. No, you know, when you want to dismiss somebody, you say conspiracy theorist. When you want to get rid of them, you say conspiracy theorist, because that washes out everything. So you, you, you make it look like it's somebody's a lunatic, somebody's cooked. So it really, really, is, is, is mind-boggling that somebody cannot understand just simple facts. Jet fuel cannot go in its own, own footprint. Uh, people who work there said that, you know, there were bombs from underneath going off, bombs from on top going off. As the building is falling, you can see the charges coming out. Thermite was used in there, military grade. Right away was the biggest crime scene in history. People, the U.S. government spent trillions of dollars so-called fighting them, making Guantanamo Bay and torturing people, doing all those things. All of a sudden, they take all of the steel and ship it to China. Is, it, is that not a crime scene? Are you supposed to do that? So it really, really makes me... Hmm? It really makes me mad. It really makes me mad. I get very upset. Just look at my eyes. I get very upset at these CNN, Fox News, people who don't use their brains to come up with the fact that it just happened just like that. Please question, because in a free country, 
we have freedom to think, nobody's controlling our brains, we should be enlightened. We should not be dumbed down like this. It really makes me upset. You see my eyes? Look at my teeth. I'm so upset. Please do write by the people and write the history for what it's supposed to be. Go and watch these documentaries, go and read these books, and you will see for yourself that hundreds and hundreds of engineers and hundreds and hundreds of architects would not just sign on to say that it could not have happened with the narrative that the government is telling us. Thank you very much and I hope you forgive me for the small jokes, but sometimes you need to just put the point forward so that people would understand. I thank you for your understanding.